Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. What we'll be doing today guys will apply to any car, any vehicle guys. Uh, especially newer vehicles come with uh, electronic throttle pedal guys. Okay, you don't have cable. Okay, me a mechanical cable that moves uh, the throttle, throttle anymore. But you just have a throttle pedal with sensor inside that tells how many percent it's uh, pressed and all that stuff to the computer and it adjusts everything. Now, in today's video guys, what we'll be doing, okay, we'll explain, okay, if you have any of those three codes guys, up there in the corner, if you have any of those three codes, P02122 or P02127 or P02 220 guys, David as will explain how to fix that and what's causing that. Or we will be using very cheap guys scanner, very cheap OBD scanner that you can find listed in the description of the video below guys for your convenience. Now, uh, quick introduction to the channel guys, we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below guys. So let's start on it now. So what we'll be using guys, okay, will be this scanner right here, 2010 Mazda, that's what we'll be demonstrating on, but most of them will be that way now, newer vehicles, especially pretty much almost anything made past like 2006, 7 will be that way guys. You need to find your OBD connection, connector, okay, and just plug it in, okay, like that. Now, let me start the car, okay, the symptoms that you may experience, uh, no power, uh, unresponsive throttle okay I'll start the car engine light okay you can see engine light is on engine light is on and uh, we have these codes guys okay no matter what you do it stays there I'll try, try to press the throttle pedal nothing the RPMs do not change so what we'll be doing now guys I'll turn the ignition off and I'll turn it back on without the engine running. Okay, just ignition on. Now with that computer, we're going to click OBD. It's going to connect and we'll read the codes. And after that, we'll show you how we're going to test the throttle pedal. And uh, we'll explain what are the two possibilities for that now. Okay, it's communicating now. We have two codes. What I like about this computer that actually communicates with two different parts of the module, car computer. Okay, so we can scan both of them. Check both of them because Sometimes you may have codes in one and then in the other one. Other scanners don't give you that options. Cheap ones, I mean, the ones that are about that price range. So, right here, those are the codes, guys. 2122, throttle pedal position sensor switch D. And P2127, throttle pedal position sensor switch E. Now, if I go back... Okay, we'll select the other module and we'll see what we have there now. Read codes. The first module with the smaller number usually is the main one. Okay, check out. That's the code that we have. P0220, throttle pedal position sensor switch B. So, if I go back now, guys. Okay, we'll go to the main module. One of them is the main one, usually. Uh, and how we know that? If we go under live data you will have quite a few things that you can see under the main module. The secondary one, you still can check a few things, a few parameters, but not as many usually. So, I'm going to connect now, okay, to the engine computer, to the live data, and we're going to see all the different parameters. This just takes a few seconds to generate the connection and everything to be visible. View data, complete data set and we're going to click on the next screen. Right here it says throttle position guys. It says 16.5%. I'll go ahead, turn the car on. Okay, car is running. And I'll go ahead and press the brake, uh, the accelerator pedal and check out now. I'll select the graph so you can see it guys yourself. With the graph running. Okay, check it out now. Nothing, it doesn't move at all. So, what could be, guys, the outcome for that? Okay, you may have, guys, okay, you may have bad throttle pedal, accelerator pedal, or you may have loose connection. Check both. Also, make sure you check uh, fuses. That says uh, engine computer, PCM, ECM, ECU, or anything like that. Check relays. Uh, and uh, in that case, guys, most likely it's the brake, uh, it's the accelerator pedal, excuse me. So, we'll go ahead, replace ours, and we'll see if that takes care of the problem now. So, we replaced ours, I'm going to reinsert the key. Let me start the car without even clearing the codes. Okay, and now, 
Okay, car is responsive, throttle is responsive, perfect. Now what I'll do, I'll turn the ignition off, uh, the engine off, ignition on, okay, and, okay, let's establish communication again, because it lost the connection when we uh, turn the car off to replace the thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the car, okay, and throttle position now guys, okay, you can see it just changed. No, the car is still a little bit cold, so the choke is on. So what I'll do now... Okay, I'm going to go ahead, press the pedal and check out with the graph. So you can see how it changes, guys, and it shows us, okay, how many percent it's open. It goes to 86% now. So, definitely, guys, this is a good working throttle pedal so uh, that fixed our problem guys what we're going to do next we'll turn the engine off turn the ignition on and we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, go back and clear the codes okay erase codes erasing codes now please wait Erase failure, turn the key on. Okay, engine off. So we need to go ahead to make sure, okay, that we have communication because otherwise it's not going to erase them. Okay, erase done. Now I'm going to go ahead, restart the car for one second. And you can see the engine light is not even on and off. So, Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.